And now one of our pre-meet favorites, Mo Hui Lan from China on the balance beam, 16 years of age, 4 feet 7 inches tall. At last year's Asian Games, she won five gold medals, but interestingly, only finished third in the all-around. You're not going to believe this routine. This is one of my favorite routines ever. She has absolutely everything in this routine to make it world class. Chinese always take chances on this event. This is incredible. Round off layout. It was even better than it was in the team competition. Watch your head go back on that jump. That one little balance break is the only slight error in this whole routine so far. I'd really like to see her go for a stuck landing. It is the one area where the Chinese really need to work on. Round up back handspring. Look at, oh. oh, no. This is exactly what we have seen so many times in the past. Yet, at this competition, I really did not expect it. That should be your world all-around champion, and it's gone. And she gets a hug when she needs it most. You know, this kind of mistake is a lack of experience in a way, because she was going for a stuck landing, didn't really keep her knees bent in order to prepare to take a step, and was unable to accommodate the over-rotation. That's a shame. Mo's score, 9.312, a rough break in the first rotation. Well, the judges award Podkopayeva 9.812, and that puts her in second place behind Milosevic, who earned a 9.825 on floor. So at the end of the first rotation, Milosevic leads the field, Americans Mochianu and Miller in 14th and 15th place. An athlete who had some trouble in the early going, but her second rotation is moving her up in the standings, Mo Huilan. stuck the landing during the team competition. I think she's had a little wind taken out of her sails here, falling on the very first event, her best event. So your Chenko double twist. She does it better than almost anybody in the world, especially for her size. It's incredible that she can get up that high. She's four feet seven inches tall. When we first met her last year, she was only four four. She's a giant now. <laughs> Mo's first vault earned a 9.812. She's performing the same vault and trying for a better landing. It's actually better in the air, but she still took that step on the landing. Aminar's bar routine earned a 9.775. Good enough for second place at this point. So with one round remaining in the women's all-around competition, Podkopayeva takes the lead for the first time. Mochianu in fifth, Mo Huilan in ninth, and Shannon Miller in sixteenth. Our next athlete over on the uneven bars is the impressive Mo Huilan, one of the early favorites, but after a near-flawless beam routine, she fell on the dismount and out of the running for gold. Though in the last two rounds, she's jumped from 26th to ninth. Now you want to see something outstanding, absolutely outrageous, in fact. This uneven bar routine. Wonderful technique. <laughs> Into a Gaylord. First time it's ever been done by a woman. She introduced it last year. After her disastrous performance in the first event, she's come on strong. It's important. They're establishing reputation here as they go into the Olympics. I know she's not happy with the all-around performance, but we've seen some great gymnastics. 
You know, Mighty Mo is admired by a lot of gymnasts for having the guts to go for this move in the first place, let alone risk it in competition. And a very high score, 9.862 for Mo. That moves her into fourth place ahead of American Carrie Strug. And so the official results of this year's all-around competition, the medals go to Ukraine, Russia, and Romania. The top American, Dominic Mochianu, in fifth, just ahead of Mighty Mo Huilan. Look at that mount. From, from start to finish, this routine is unique, difficult, and so artistic. None can touch her if she hits. Like Mochano, she seems more assertive today, doesn't she? Here is one of the most exciting combinations in the entire competition. Round off layout. Oh. She can only beat herself from this point on. I've only seen a more perfect routine or an equally perfect routine one other time ever by Yang Bo. Now if she can just stick the dismount. Yeah. Oh. She still should get the highest score of the game. Absolutely. That is so close to a perfect 10. The only deduction I saw in the entire routine was a little, you can't even call it a hop, a stutter step on the landing. Yeah, even her competitors know that there's not much you can do when a gymnast is that on. Of the gymnasts in finals perform difficult routines, but none do anything that approaches this. The highest back layout I've ever seen. And look at this. This is sheer perfection. Every picture is beautiful. And the crowd is reacting to a 9.9 .9 from the judges, putting Mohi Lan in the lead on balance beam.